Hi, today I'm going to show you how to incorporate a unity ceremony into a wedding. Hi, I'm Island Mike with Wanderlust Bay Ministries, and at the end I'm going to give you sort of my dry run through of how this all goes. Typically what I do is I do the ceremony after the rings, so there will be an exchange of the rings, at which point then I'll sort of do a transition, and then we move to the unity ceremony. Again, using the sand ceremony as our template. For sand ceremony, you've got a table, and I'm gonna show you the setup that you typically will see. It's gonna have, again, the three containers, and it's gonna have colored sand. As far as sand ceremonies, this is sort of what they might look like. Always have the couple stand on the back side, as I mentioned, so have them back. <clears throat> so it's good for the photographer, it's good for the guests, so they can all see it as well. As soon as you get to that point, you're going to direct the bride and groom where to stand. And then from there, you're going to begin the ceremony. All right. So here's sort of what it looks like. They've just exchanged rings. And I will say something like this. Well, Jim and Catherine, you have just symbolized your union today through the giving and receiving of rings, which is a relationship pledge between two people who've pledged their lives to one another. But today, You've chosen to further symbolize your union through the pouring of sand. So Jim and Catherine, I'd like you to join me over here by the table. And Jim and Catherine, if you could stand on the back side so everybody can see you. Sitting in front of each one of you is a container of sand. That sand represents all that you are, all that you were, and all that you will ever be. All those little chapters in your lives, those things that make you unique in who you are today are represented by that sand. And what I'd like you to do is, Catherine, if you could first start and pick up the sand and pour about a third of your container into the final vessel. Thank you. And now, Jim, if you could also do so. And keep doing that until you've used up all the sand. And Jim and Catherine, what you're doing when I say that they represent you you're combining all of you into this final container. And just as these grains of sand can never be separated into their individual containers again, so shall your marriage and your life be. All right, Jimmy Catherine, if you could join me back over here. That's sort of what it looks like. A couple of stumbling points. Again, you're in control. You have to direct them. Everybody is clueless except you. So you want to be, again, confident and forceful in how you direct them. Jim and Catherine, if you could please stand behind the table. And then you're going to take them and instruct them exactly how to pour the sand. One of the things that I see all the time is, uh, you know, that sand, that container when you're dumping the sand, it'll, you know, the, the, the final vessel will have a little lip in it. That just here. This one's a little wider. So the sand goes in pretty decent, but sometimes they're real small and I swear it's like eight little grains of sand go in at a time and it's sitting there and it's taking five minutes and everybody's uncomfortable. And if you notice the sand ceremony is just going to go on and on. Just let them do it for a couple of times. You know, okay, Catherine, she dumps in her eight grains and then, and then, then Jim and just simply, and thank you, uh, Catherine and Jim, if you could please join me back up here on the altar. And then from there, you just go ahead after the ceremony and you or the wedding planner or someone in the uh, bridal party can go ahead and finish pouring the rest of the sand. So anyway, that's uh, the sand ceremony in a nutshell. You just got to be prepared and make sure that you are in control. Otherwise, it just seems awkward and it doesn't go well and it basically reflects on you. So anyway... Uh, check out additional videos uh, down below in the comments. Uh, let me know if there's a video I can throw up, uh, whether there's a specific unity ceremony that you have to perform that you'd like me to show you my thoughts on how to do it, uh, or just any other element of the ceremony that you have questions about. Uh, I'm happy to do a video specifically for you. So just leave it in the comments below. All right, thanks. Michael, Wanderlust Bay Ministries. Peace out.